While most of the animals at the rescue center will be returned to the wild, there are a few who will never get that chance. For them, this is their forever home. These elderly olive baboons have been here for 12 years, but they're not native to Malawi, so can't be released. The olive baboons we have here are definitely characters. They're just these old ladies, and they just act like your old, grumpy grandma um, that just wants the kids to get off her lawn. They just kind of shuffle around doing their own thing. Um, they're really interesting to watch, and they're just enjoying their life here. Pamela, Jill, and Dickler are about to move house. These three baboons are getting older now, so we do need to start making some provisions for them and their old age changes. So we're gonna move these guys from this space to a smaller enclosure, and that will just help us keep a closer eye on them as they age. But moving these cantankerous old ladies won't be an easy task. <laughs> it's a, a busy day for me. And it's going to be down to vet Charlotte to dart them. The baboons have been enticed inside, but they're unlikely to make it easy for her. It's really quite simple. You aim and you shoot. <laughs> I'm not rising to it. I know. Wish me luck. Good luck. I'll need it. <laughs> we believe in you. Thank you. But Pamela, Jill and Dickler are old and wise and have seen this all before. First up, it's Pamela. Pamela is um, troublesome when it comes to darting. She's by far the largest of the trio. And the most grumpy. Pamela has got herself into a corner, and Charlotte sees her chance. Really nice shot. Thankfully, we have managed to get a shot in. It's just now waiting to see if it, it takes effect. But Pamela is not in the best place to fall asleep. My concern is that she's starting to wibbly wobbly under her anesthesia and she's gonna fall to the ground. Adult baboons can be aggressive. Even half asleep, Pamela could lash out or give a nasty bite. But Mandy and Tori have to risk going in before she falls. If I say get out, we get out. Can you come round this side? Yeah. And support her butt, because I've got all of her at the moment. Watch out. Pamela has become rather attached to the pole. That one hand. Nice one, team. Oh, gosh, she is heavy. Whew. Charlotte wants to check her over while she's asleep. 29 kilos. In the wild, a female olive baboon weighs on average just half of that. It's been four years since she was examined, so four years since we got a weight from her. Um, and she has put on quite a significant amount of weight in that time. That's great, Alza. Charlotte wants to make sure there's no medical reason for her putting on weight. She's got quite a bit of extra padding, but I can't feel any masses in her abdomen, and her lungs sound good. So Pamela has no signs of any underlying illness. I can't believe she was 29 kilos. And yet they're still... It's because they don't do anything all day. They're old ladies. They just sit around and knit. Next up, it's Jill. She has a little bit of a reputation in the vet department. Um, she is a very clever lady. Um, we've had <laughs> numerous attempts at a darter in the past that have ended up being uh, aborted because she just managed to outwit us, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge. Geriatric Jill has taken cover. She's going to be the biggest pain in the bum. How much is she hiding? She is at one with the tree. 
Jill has managed to squeeze perfectly out of Charlotte's view. Too clever. Back left-hand corner. I know she is. Baboons are quite intelligent. Sometimes they can really connect the dots between what someone's doing and what your intention is. Again, I think I'm gonna have to go shoulder. Good shot. But Jill pulls the dart straight out. That could mean she only received a partial dose of anesthetic. No, her, her eyelids are starting to droop a wee bit. But Jill quickly puts any doubts to rest. She looks tiny compared to the others. Yeah. 16.6. So she's the skinniest of them, has a, wood, has a little bit of weight loss. Charlotte quickly realises the likely cause of her weight loss. Oh, she's got some serious dental issues. Wow. Hmm. Three rotten teeth. This may have made eating painful. It's fairly easy to extract. She feels a lot more comfortable once these are out. There's no time like the present. I've got penicillin and I've got uh, Metacam. Charlotte is an experienced veterinary surgeon. Oh, that's what I wanted. Keep an eye on her heart rate. Her heart rate was 100. How she's eaten anything, I do not know. Baboons have a really high tolerance for pain, but this would have definitely still hurt. Try and put one more stitch in, and then we're done. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Leave it out for the Tooth Fairy. So, two olives down, just Dickler to go. OK. And she isn't as canny as Jill. She's down and out. Again, yeah. 17. 17, yeah. She's snoring. Um... <laughs> which is kind of like an old lady snore. <laughs> We're nearly done. That was excellent work. Three out of three. The biggest curveball that we got today was with Jill, um, noticing a weight loss from her um, and then looking at her mouth and noticing quite marked dental disease. But that's the reason we do these routine health checks. It's to pick up on the things that we don't um, necessarily see. And now happy to report all of them are ready to go to their new house. Pamela, Jill and Dickler may not be candidates for release, but the slow pace of life here seems to suit them. They seem happy here. Um, they enjoy life, they walk around, they get enough to eat, they chit chat with each other. It's a very nice home to retire to. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.